Hello everyone. It is oh this for Bobo. Um it's seven fourteen PM Friday, February twenty third. I am a dog sitting Ollie right now. That's who you hear. Um there's a train. Ugh, I love trains. Um Welcome to the Lucy Y podcast. If you've never listened to me before, I just ramble. So warning and well now I'm gonna look up the definition of ramble, but like this is my stream of consciousness. Um I I want to talk about what um, just happened on the street. It, there, like a four-way stop, and you know when like the um, ambulance is kind of like a ways away, but like I'm in the front, like everyone stopped. Like it feels like forever. Like at least twenty seconds for sure. I feel like I don't know for sure, but um. And then I'm, like, the first to go. I'm, like, right at, right when this, like, sucker's out, like, I'm going. Um, and that's what happened. But, like, it made me start thinking about how, like, sometimes I'm, like, the first to do things. And then there's a train. Um, catches on and then it happens. Should I watch One Day on Netflix? I'm looking at it right now. That's why I, I haven't even looked at the camera, but, like, um. I guess, like, the color's changing from the TV. It's pretty huge. <laughs> it's pretty huge. There's Dune. Oh. Um, when I watched Dune 1, like, I saw it, my, um, my, the person that lived next to me when I was living in an apartment, he had asked me on, um, a date, and then we saw Dune. Um... Yeah, I mean, that was it. <laughs> that was pretty much it. I don't know how long we talked, but it was kind of awkward with some the person living next to me. Like, um, yeah, I mean, it was all wrong. I shouldn't have even probably... Like, I remember I, would, I talked to him for, like, the first time I met him and just kept on talking, like, when I was a people pleaser and just talked to people um, for a long time which doesn't happen as much anymore. Like, I that was, like, hours-long conversations because, I mean, why did I get... I had, like, hours-long conversation with um, someone else that, like, was at the front of my building. I've had long conversations with people because I feel like they're basically therapy sessions. That's where I'm getting at. I don't really want to talk about this. Well, I mean, I'll talk about anything. Like, this is, um, if you're also new, you probably, you could learn a lot about me by listening. This is, like, when I was at, um, the Lexine Podcasters meeting on one, Monday, I'm like, I don't really recommend anyone to listen to my podcast. <laughs> and that was, like, a big laugh. I'm like, I guess I get it's funny, but, like, I wasn't kidding. Like, <laughs> wasn't like really a joke I don't really recommend anyone to listen that's what I call Lucy why are you listening I'm just kidding I wouldn't make it that's what I did think about opening up with that but I don't want to make fun of anyone that listens that's not even making fun but it's like why would I do that but really you probably should question why you're listening I don't mean it in a bad way. I guess that's my fault for interpreting a bad. Horrible bosses too. Great cast. I love all those people. And it, I mean, if you have been watching or listening, like my, I was cutting my hair for a while. Talked about it. It's been like a lot longer. Like I was cutting my own hair. Um, it's gone a lot longer. It's so thick now. Like I can actually put it in a clip. That's what, um, I used to not to be able to do a ponytail. That was, like, August. That's, like, when I started the podcast. Like, I don't know if I would have be doing this right now if I never cut my hair. Um, I just had dinner with my family 
a lot of them. My si- well, my sisters, kids, their kids, um, granddad, mom, sisters, husbands. So that was fun. I don't like how my hair, like, in the back goes, like, like, down a little bit. I don't know why I used to hate that as a kid. Like, when I saw people with that, I don't know why that was a trigger. I really don't. It's kind of... It really was. I don't know if I said that before. Do you all use face lotion? I haven't been because I feel like it breaks me out. I don't know. I go in phases, but... My face feels pretty moisturized without... But... Why I say that is because I feel like um, Whitney Cummings has asked like three people on the podcast if, and I've met her before, um, <laughs> talked like three times, um, probably talk again in the future. I don't know if she meets everyone after her shows. Um, if she was on my pod, that'd be cool. And if I was on hers, that would be cool. My sister and her husband, I've we were talking about Jersey Shore and how, like, Mike has a podcast and his redemption and, like, testimony. Like, it's amazing. But, um, E and Ronnie, for some reason we were talking about that. And I'm, like, um, I was, like, I mentioned he had a podcast. So I'm, like, oh, like, maybe I'll meet him. And they're, like, like, I wasn't done with my sentence yet, um. And they're like, oh, you do dream big. I'm like, yeah. I dream big. I do. He's Antler. Um, he's Ollie. I've been talking really fast. Um, like this particular podcast. I maybe, I started to slow down, I felt like. I, was, I really don't know. I don't remember anything of I feel different every time I record. I feel like I talked about that early. Probably talk about that every time. Okay, so Love is Blind season six. Like, I know I'm, this is like, I'm not, what does wired mean? But I feel like I'm in the realm of that. Um, Big Mouth is hilarious. Arrested Development, one of the best. I don't see it right on there, but I thought I did. I'm looking at a monkey right now. Don't you think it's crazy? Like, I'm thinking about the monkeys and, like, people evolving from that. I That seems... It doesn't make sense to me because there's still monkeys out there. Like, why aren't they humans? Right? That's what, I haven't looked that much into it, so I don't know. But... 722, good omen. I hear people in the stairs on the duplex. Ollie! Oh. He just ate. Yo, all day I went over in the morning to get Baby. If you know who Baby is. Um. Shout out to you. <laughs> um. Brought her over here and they were playing though. Four time. Have y'all seen Miss Peaches? <laughs> oh. Dave Fortin. I was trying to see if the timing set up or together from. I'm recording on the camera and the microphone. I'll, I don't know which one will sound better. I was thinking maybe the microphone. I feel like the camera might sound harsher. I was, um, thank you for the comments that say I have a calming voice. I really like that. It's like a nice compliment that I never, I've been told I have a quiet voice. I've been told I'm quiet. You know, that was, that was another thing I said at the Lexington Podcasters meeting on Monday that, um, I'm like, I mean, every time we like, give a introduce ourselves um 
And I'm like, I've always asked why my entire life. Always been my favorite question, just trying to understand things. Um, I don't know if it's, I've always, because I've always felt misunderstood or just trying to understand myself better. Um, I don't know if I said that part, but yeah. But I've always asked why, like, that's my favorite game as a kid. I would always ask my parents why. I've talked about that. Um, like, ask a question, and I'm like, why? 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 Um, and then I ended up always being, like, because God. It's like, because at a point you can't just, like, keep explaining why. It's like, because God or... something that doesn't make sense that's unseen that's um mysterious and amazing and great like it all there's some like there's some stuff we can't explain there's like some amazing things that's why I was just thinking about all the things that like I know you can get into a rhythm of where um things get um like you're just angry at the world angry at god or that's pretty much it um i don't think i got into that at the meaning but um yeah we can be definitely be angry about god oh i said um that i because someone else mentioned like philosophy and psychology i'm like oh yeah i get into that too and they're like, oh. I'm like, yeah, I studied psychology for a while at school. And I dropped out. Because I don't want a job that's 9 to 5. That's, like, where I would need a college degree, I guess. Um, we can hear back about that on other stuff. But um, where was I going at? this probably happens every episode too um what what did oh the meaning um (laughs) um I snort too yeah it's like psychology philosophy like I just like question why um But I was like, I don't really recommend anyone to listen. I already said that was funny, but... um, This is really, like, for me to think out loud, clearly. Like, I think uh, this helps me weekly. I used to see a therapist for a while. That's what... Sometimes I feel like I need to introduce... I like to introduce, like, because it's, like, not everyone's, like, I mean, this isn't for everyone, but sometimes I need to remind myself why I'm doing this. Like, this really helps me weekly. It helps me. Uh, oh, I used, I used to see a therapist. That's why I really haven't talked that much about him, but I saw two. The first one kind of, like, lied to me, um, but I was lying to him. Like, I wasn't talking about the relationship I was in and and when that was like a pretty big part of my life was going through a lot and didn't tell anyone so and the second one I texted to stop seeing him I was saying like I think we need to take a break basically and um but I really was like mostly done I think about him a lot but um and I really like him. I hope he's doing well. It has been... It just got unhealthy. So I don't want to talk about that. But I've definitely mentioned it on a bunch. Love on the Spectrum. Should I watch that? I... I think we're all on the Spectrum, right? <laughs> I don't want to diagnose myself, but... 
Everyone in my family has. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I met with Nee Cummings one time. We talked like three times. Like, I really, when I see her again, I may mention how I felt like I knew her like so well. It's like, she's never met me before, but I felt like I know her and knew her. Which I kind of do, like, you, they post a lot on everything. I've spent so many hours with her, conversations, basically. I get to know someone real good, kind of within, like, immediately. I don't like that. School Rock, so good. I love y'all. I, um... Like, this helps me more than, like, to hear myself think, like, that's what I need. I need to hear, like, have something bounced off me, have a soundboard, have, um, that's why when I was looking at myself, I'm like, usually I just let the thumbnail pick itself. <laughs> But I usually, I've noticed it picks things where I'm like looking and it's like more bright. I don't know. But I'm like, should I pose? <laughs> yeah, this helps me more. This is like my therapy. This is like my safe space, it feels like. In the beginning, I would talk about, um, I think I've, I've started, I've, cussing less I don't I think in the beginning I felt like people didn't listen to me and like it didn't matter but then like I've realized people do because I hear back from it from my mom apparently people listen and like if people comment like it makes me speechless like, I don't know what to say. What do I say? I mean, there's so many options to say. Like, usually when I'm speechless, it's because there's, like, so many different options, and I don't know which to choose. <laughs> That's actually really good. I've, I, I've never said that out loud before. That's what it feels like. Like, it feels like... Uh, I, I've said versions of this. Um, I don't know how call me my voices right now but like at any given moment it feels like there's so many things to choose and you know which movie I talked about or I probably talked about it but I watched it a few weeks ago at the last house I was sitting at um everywhere anywhere everywhere all at once everyone everywhere all at once I don't know that's a good movie that's what it feels like it feels like I can switch to like any different timeline Oh, there's a hole in their thingy. I hope that had nothing to do with me. They have, like, aqua thing on their thing, and there's a hole in it. Not aqua, uh, saran wrap. That's what, I bet this would be a lot for someone to listen to. Sometimes when I listen to Drew Monson, who I love, who I would love to talk to, um, have my pod or something, or be on his just talk to him really um long form <laughs> um sometimes it could be a lot listening to him because his brain goes to a lot of different directions and I'm like so zoomed in, zoomed in on them and understanding them and like captured where it's a lot Holly's probably like Oh, his, he's kind of sleeping. Um, I love Charlie. I love Jason Bateman. I love Ed Helms. No, that's Jason Sudeikis. A little dancey dance. Should I watch This Is Us? I've heard that this might be 
I feel like it's This Is Us. I've never watched it. Maybe I've walked in on it. Someone watching it, but um, it's someone, the dad dies during Super Bowl halftime. Something left on in the kitchen, maybe. I don't know. But um, that's why I wonder if this was like my dad bringing it up. This is something I also talk about a lot. Um, my dad died when I was 16, and I found out during the halftime of the Super Bowl. That's why I watched part of the Super Bowl a couple weeks ago with my sibling sisters um, and their husbands and kids, but we left before halftime, and I didn't really watch. I love Usher. I would... I tweeted a long time ago, and I've talked about it. I feel like maybe I heard someone else say it, like my brother. I don't know. But if I could sing like anyone, I would want to sing like Usher. That was the tweet. And I've said it like in conversations a lot. I would want to sing like him if I could sing. I've been thinking about taking um, singing lessons. Like, I think that would be cool, like, just for me, like, not to do anything. I don't know if I talked about this, but, um, I mean, if you're listening this long, like, I was in the basement for a little while a few weeks ago, and I was standing on, um, I feel like maybe I did talk about it. I don't know. The carpet. That's what I told my sister and her husband, but standing on the carpet like rolled up carpet and it's like movie like jiggly and like doing a performance like giving a show like singing (laughs) performing it was hard it was a lot harder than everything everywhere all at once quirky emotional psychodrama quirky um it was hard I like sometimes we look at people it says resident alien sometimes I feel like a resident alien witty quirky sci-fi TV um sometimes I feel like I can do what like Miley Cyrus does or like Taylor Swift or Selena like any of them I think it's because I see a part of myself in them but it's hard props to them like it would take practice like definitely practice like to just think you can go up and like do it like I kind of felt like I could have done that with like acting like I feel like it would take practice and singing like I'm not a singer Well, um, this has been a true stream of consciousness. It really has been. I could honestly talk for a long time. I kind of have to go to the bathroom. I've been loving, um, you know, Brianna, Chicken Fry, and Grace O'Malley. Like, I just really been especially like admiring them especially Brianna because I just feel like like I hope to talk to them one day that'd be cool like how themselves they are like they truly are themselves on camera or whatever they post like most of the time like or at least sometimes like when they post themselves like I really admire that and to like I have always been like comfortable I mean I don't really know but I really admire that like uh, someone has commented I don't know if multiple people have but um how real I seem or I am like I this is the most is it most vulnerable? I don't know, but, like, I ain't lying. I ain't faking. Like, this really, I, this is me. 
This is real, this is me. This is exactly where I'm supposed to be now. Can let the light shine on me. Now I know where I am. There's no way to hold it in. No more hiding who I'm supposed to be. This is me. Kind of felt like I had a sing or else it would bother me. <laughs> like, stopping halfway, I felt like it would have gone on in my mind. Um, yeah, this is, like, real. I mean, like, if you think I seem real, like, that's good. Like, I am. I had my nose, I got nose surgery in 2021 to smell better, to breathe better. Um, but I've talked about that, I'm real about that. I think my phone's charging. I was gonna put my hair in a ponytail. I used to not be able to do a ponytail a few months ago. I, so I was cutting my own hair for a while. My, I'm just introducing myself today. Um, you can listen to the podcast where I talked about where I met Neil for the first time, which was, like, Friday the 13th on October. But, like, I started the podcast before that, but, um, why did I bring that up? It connected. See, everything connects. Um, I used to take Vyvanse for ADHD and, um, a Clistoflora fan, a Clistoflora man, um, a Mixoprene, Maxoprene. I said both those wrong. Yeah, my stream be flowing in all the directions. <laughs> what should I watch? Should I, because season six of love is blind uh, i have to wait should i just start watching last season i honestly might like why do they do that i watched the season before in the first for some reason i feel like i've skipped the second and the fourth if you're still listening i had some true i had two trulies earlier so that's pretty much it Um, my brother gave me the idea of, um, something about books, like I should pick one up, read it, that could be a topic. I felt like if I did that, like, I, like I could just randomly do that on the podcast, I feel like I have, um, I don't know, like a series or something, or like make a new podcast about that, but, um. Like, videos to fall asleep to. Um, so. If that interests anyone, let me know. That doesn't mean I'll do it, but, um. I like making videos. I really do. It makes me feel better getting this out. And I want to help people, like, that have felt shy in your life or felt misunderstood, felt the odd one out, feels alone. I don't want anyone to feel that way. And I know, I don't know how you feel. I feel like everyone has a unique experience and like you can't really understand fully how someone feels because you're not them. Maybe when you die, you can feel, I don't know, but um, like you can experience what someone else felt. I was watching Lo- Long Island Medium past week too when I was at my mom's house. I haven't watched it here. It's on HBO. And there's some HBO here, but um, never watched Outer Banks. But Long Island Medium, like, that's it makes me feel good. So, um, yeah, if you're going through grief too. 
I was part of a grief group for a while. Like, I feel passionate about helping people with that. I feel you're never alone. Um, okay, so the camera stopped, apparently. Movie recording has been stopped automatically. Maybe it stops at 30, I guess. It's 7.44 p.m. I love you all. All love, love all. Have a great issue day. You're not alone. 7.44.